welcome to a mini lecture about colorings and your chosen arc. The idea of uh, the lemma I'm going to present to you just now is that it says that if there is a coloring of your of your link, then you can assume that the coloring has this label on this arc. It's very uh, useful for narrowing down the possibilities of colorings if they exist. So. Um, here is the statement. It's the statement of lemma 2.6. Lemma. Suppose that L, some link, can be colored mod n. Uh, what does that mean? Well, you should look back at the definition. What it means is that L has some diagram which admits a coloring mod n, which means there's a labeling of the arcs, all the coloring equations hold, and the arcs aren't all congruent. Well, if you've given such an L, if you have such an L, then for any diagram D of L, which might be different from the diagram you know admits a colouring, and for any arc of that diagram, well, then there's a colouring of D. There is a colouring of D in which the arc, your chosen arc, has the label zero. So, among the world of all possible colourings, there's at least one where your favourite arc has label zero and this is going to enable us to cut down possibilities it's going to be useful as time goes on so here's the idea of the proof well by the proof of theorem 2.5 theorem 2.5 is the one where we looked at Rydermeister moves and colorings by the proof of that theorem well it follows that D does admit some coloring we don't know anything about that coloring but there is one well we're going to modify this coloring to make sure that the favorite arc has label zero. So let L be the label of the chosen arc, the one we like. Let L be its label. And all we do is we subtract L from every other label, including L itself. So we look at all the color labels in the coloring, take L off them. What's the result? The result is a coloring of D in which the chosen arc has label zero. So it's very simple. Take your diagram. It's got some coloring. Modify the coloring so that your favorite arc has label zero. Okay, here's an example. Here is a link L. Here is one diagram of it. And this link L can be colored mod eight. And uh, these numbers in yellow, these are the labels in my coloring. So, well, you should probably pause right now and check that this is indeed a colouring. Uh, for example, at the uh, orange crossing here, uh, the colour equation colouring equation says that three plus three should be congruent to two times seven. Is six congruent to fourteen mod eight? Yes, it is. And you can check at all the crossings that this equation holds and of course the numbers aren't all congruent mod 8. So this is a colouring. So now let's choose our favourite arc and modify the colouring so that our favourite arc has label 0. So let's choose as our favourite this guy here. So we arrange that our chosen arc, which is to say the orange arc, has label zero by subtracting its label. That's the thing, whoops, can't spell the word label. By subtracting its label, well, that's the thing which in the idea over here I call L, and which in this case is 5, from all labels in the coloring. And what happens if we do that? Ah, fiddle. 
let's copy and paste. There we go. We don't really need another L. Okay, so here's uh, a copy of the diagram, and now we're going to modify it by subtracting L from everything. So we've got 1 minus 5, 3 minus 5, uh, 7 minus 5, another 3 minus 5, and then 5 minus 5 down the bottom. Well, what's 1 minus 5 mod 8? That's minus 4, minus 4 mod 8 is 4. Uh, what's 3 minus 5? That's minus 2, mod 8, that's 6. 3 minus 5, that's another 6. 7 minus 5, that's minus 2, which is... No, that's just 2. Let's just go back and check. I lost it a bit there. 7 minus 5 is indeed 2. Okay. And 5 minus 5 is 0. So the claim, the thing which the proof claims and checks, is that this is now a colouring. And let's just have a look at uh, the green crossing here, for example. Um, whoops, that's orange. Um, let's have a look at this crossing. Well, the colouring equation tells us that we need 0 plus 4 to be congruent to 2 times 6. Is 12 congruent to 4 mod 8? Yes, it is. Um, so this is indeed a colouring. And uh, that's the end of the mini lecture. Of course, what I drew here, this is only the idea of the proof. You can go and look at the proof yourselves to see exactly how it works. Uh, hopefully the example uh, shows you it in action.